नाउ स्टूडेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन पॉइंट टू फाइव क्लियर इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन टू यू अ स्मॉल टाउन विद अ डिमांड ऑफ एट हंड्रेड किलो वॉट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक पावर एट टू ट्वेंटी वॉल्ट इज सिचुएटेड फिफ्टीन किलोमीटर अवे फ्रॉम एन इलेक्ट्रिक प्लांट जनरेटिंग पावर एट फोर फोर्टी वॉल्ट ओके सो सो मच इन्फॉर्मेशन इज गिवन टू यू लेट इज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कंसनट्रेट हियर सो लेट सपोज आई एम सेंग दिस इज आउटपुट स्टेशन clear output station and we have a small town we here we have demand 800 kilo watt clear we have this much of demand of electric power at 220 volt okay and it is situated at 15 km away from an electric plant generated power at 440 volt so let's suppose here we have electric plant and this is generating power at 440 volt okay the resistance of two wire line carrying power is 0.5 5 ohm per kilometer so let's suppose this is two lines and these two lines are carrying carrying this uh, voltage or we can say this power from this end to this end clear i can say this is source this is power station and we can say this is uh, we can say uh, we can say this is small town clear this is town clear now it is given this distance between this town and this source this is 15 kilometer clear resistance value is also given this is 0.5 ohm per kilometer fine the town gets power from the line through a 4220 volt step down transformer it means i can say if we have this is secondary side at this secondary side we have voltage 220 volt and this side we have voltage this is 4000 volt clear it is given in this question now we have to find estimate the line power loss in the form of heat clear first of all can we calculate total resistance offered by this line yes first of all i am solving part number a so i can say total resistance total resistance offered by total resistance offered by wire clear now you can say actually we have two lines that's why we can say 15 and 15 total we have 15 km and this one is also 15 km so we can say total we have distance 30 km clear and one more thing is given to you resistance is given 0.5 ohm per km it means i can say this is ohm per km so from here we can say km km is cancelled out and what about total resistance total resistance offered this is equal to 15 ohm so student uh, total resistance offered by wire now we know this is 15 ohm clear now our objective is to find what is the power loss in the form of heat clear so power loss we have to find now you can say what is output power that we needed this is 800 kw clear it means i can say that is current flowing can we find in this situation yes so we can find i rms clear i can write like this i rms this is given by power output clear and we can say this is voltage so power output we have 800 kilowatt so we can write like this this is 800 multiply 10 to the power 3 and divided by now we are getting this voltage that is 400 volt 4000 volt clear so from here you can say this one and this one cancel out we are getting this current i rms this is 200 ampere clear so now can we calculate total power loss or total power loss when this current is going through this side to this side yes yes so we can say we can write like this power loss clear it is given by i rms whole square multiplied with r clear now what is value of i rms i rms value we have this is 200 square and multiplied with r clear r value is given to you yes yes you have calculated this is 15 clear so this is multiplied with 15 so from here you can see we are getting this is 400 into uh we can say this is 100 yes or no 400 multiply 100 and we can say this is 15 so from here you can say this is 600 into 10 to the power 3 watt yes or no so now we can write like this this power loss we are getting this is 600 kilowatt clear so this is answer of your part number a clear so to total power loss in the form of heat we are getting 600 kilowatt clear second how much power must the plant supply assuming there is a negligible power loss due to leakage clear how much power must the plant supply now listen carefully what is total demand of power 
800 kilo what what are, what are the amount of power loss is to be taking place while carrying from one end to another end 600 kilo volt so total power that must be supplied by the plant it should be now we can see we can see total total power supplied total power supplied by by plant total power supplied by plant and it is given by uh, we can see total power supplied by plant clear this is equal to we can see uh, first 600 kilowatt this is power loss due to carrying from one end to another end and 800 kilowatt we have in demand so directly you can see 1400 uh, kilowatt 1400 kilowatt this much of power is to be supplied by plant clear so now i can say uh, we are having answer of a and b clear now what about c characterize the step of transformer at the plant now you can see at this side we have 440 volt and in this side we have this is 400 uh, 4000 volt clear so how can we find this voltage clear how can we calculate so actually can we find what is voltage drop can we find what is voltage voltage drop at this line yes yes we can calculate so voltage drop we can calculate this is given by ir value of irms we have this is uh, 200 ampere what about we can say resistance this is 15 so we are getting this is 3000 and volt clear 3000 volt now you can see already we are having this side this is 4000 volt clear and we can see there is a loss of potential that we are getting due to this resistance and that is equal to of 3000 volt so i can say v input v input or we can say voltage that is available at the secondary coil this side it should be equal to it should be equal to 4000 voltage this is required for the secondary coil and 3000 that is lost due to resistance clear it means i can say it should have 700 volt clear it means i can say if i am talking about step up transformer step up transformer it should have 440 and 7000 volt clear 440 and 7000 volt uh, we can say that is input is required clear so this is a writing of step up transformer clear so this is all about part number c clear and this is all about this question